to examine the science behind a lacrosse shot, we enlisted one of the game's top players, two-time Major League Lacrosse Offensive Player of the Year, Paul Rabel. He won the Major League Lacrosse Fastest Shot Competition, registering a world record-breaking 111 miles an hour. 111! And Rabel's shots in a game typically average over 100 miles an hour. For a goaltender, that looks like this. To put this in perspective, from over 60 feet away, a 90 mile an hour fastball crosses home plate in less than 44 hundredths of a second. A lacrosse ball fired at 105 miles an hour covers that distance 11% quicker in only 39 hundredths of a second. And shots are often fired from less than 30 feet, shaving the time to react to the ball to under 19 hundredths of a second. The secret to Rabel's blazing shot is a combination of biomechanics and physics. The farther an object is from its axis of rotation, the faster its linear speed. His arm and a 40-inch long stick act as a series of levers, extending the ball as far as 62 inches from the main axis of rotation. Rabel maximizes speeds at the end of the lever with superior biomechanics. As he drives his foot into the turf, friction against the ground allows him to convert his linear momentum into rotational momentum. Rabel conserves this momentum through his hips and torso, rotating his shoulders over 1,300 degrees per second, faster than NHL All-Star Alex Ovechkin rotates on a slap shot. We want to see how accurate you can actually be. We're going to set up a bunch of targets for you and see if you can hit them. Sounds good. Ready to do it? Yep. Let's do it. From a distance of 10 yards, Rabel zeroes in on our 10 and a half inch diameter target, breaking four plates within five shots. The speed and accuracy of Paul Rabel's shots are just two reasons why he's the first midfielder in Major League Lacrosse to be named MVP not just once, but twice. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.